Hey guys, welcome back. Today I will be doing two unboxings for the new Arcadia Quest um, Inferno. So number one will have whole lot of lava and the other one will be hell of a box. So hell of a, bo hell of a box is sort of like the guild master box that we saw in the first Arcadia Quest. It comes with Kickstarter exclusive characters that you should probably never be able to find again because a lot of these are used from um, sort of like inspired by other IPs so normally they can't really sell these things so in the hell of a box we have 37 plastic figures 24 death tokens 3 30 damnation tokens 6 guild dice 1 dice bag 30 plastic coins 16 guild tokens and 20 wound tokens so that is pretty cool so see like magnificent and all that like you really just can't sell these because um, I remember the first um, Arcadia Quest one actually came with people from like Harry Potter and David Bowie and all that. So while it's actually quite flavorful and cool, it's just kind of a bummer that if you didn't get the Kickstarter um, edition, you pretty much miss out on all the characters from the special box. Even though that in my opinion, you aren't missing out on much, it does not change it just does it does not improve on what the game is but it's just that it's for some people they want a lot more characters and i can understand that so let's open up and let's just do a quick view on what this is so for vacadia this is probably one of the so there's an extra so sort of like an extra campaign that you can play if you have the of course you need the base game of inferno so that is pretty cool for Wow, that's pretty cool. That's a really, really nice dice bag. And this is actually not silk printed. That is actually really, really cool. Awesome. Yeah, so one dice bag. This is the guild tokens. So the guild token is something that you use to put on um, top. Oh, this is a, sorry, this is a damnation tokens. Like that little evil, evil face there. Let's have a open and have a look. So like that, oh, evil face. So that's a damnation token that is introduced in Acadia Quest Inferno. Next we have yeah, these are that these are the death counters. So pretty much all these counters you get the plastic version of it, where in the base game you get the um, cardboard punch out versions. So of course you have the scale tokens, you have the life tokens, and these are the little guild tokens. So when you put things like on objectives and um the quest and all that, you take your guild token, put it on just to say that, yeah, I've done it. So that's pretty cool. This is new PvP quest. So it would, it should be for the full of Arcadia campaign. So we won't open that. You get new character cards. So these will be the character cards that come in this little box here. So King David the Third. So let's actually open it up and have a look, shall we? And you should get some updated monsters with let me get the knife. So, it up. so cool. All right. So King David the Third, Lucas, Hanika. So I actually don't know where these are all from. So you guys can probably help me out there. So oh, Spartan. And of course, this is like this is from Dungeon and Dragons. Gabriel, Brittany, Thongwood, Johnny. Saya, it is actually really good. It is really cool to see all like all different character scopes and all that. So, yeah, it's always like a bonus for supporting the Kickstarter that they do. But it does actually hurt stores in my opinion, because um, pretty much no one will ever buy games from the stores because the stores never have access to these type of things. So kind of a bummer. And of course, these are the monsters the updated monsters that you can use and of course you have pits oh, small pit cards so that's pretty cool so this these are the extra cards that come in the box and of course what's next we have build dice so originally you have black dice for attacking and white dice for defense so with guild dice you have the colored dice for attacking so that's pretty good and one cool thing is the plastic um, money die, uh, money, money. So it's actually really, really cool as well. So yeah, that that's pretty cool how it comes with it. Lastly, I think what everybody wants to see is the miniatures itself. So let me try and get this out. 
Should be a two tier. So that is pretty cool. So there's all the miniatures. It's a two tray version of it. So let's have a look, shall we? So let's go one by one. That is pretty cool. So that's magnificent. You have Sparta. And then afterwards, I have no idea what they are, who they are from. So that is pretty cool. I quite like the sculpt. I quite like bulky, bulk, bulky type of characters. So orcs is always my favorite, I have to say. The sculpts itself is really well done, just like the Arcadia Quest standards. Sorry. Yeah, Kung Fu Master. Look at that lip. Oh, so that's pretty cool. Uh, next, what do we have? Um, yeah, what is she holding? Probably like coins or something. And oh, this guy is cool. So probably like a dryad or something. Eh? That is pretty cool. Oh, look at that face. <laughs> look at that smirk. So that is pretty cool as well. It's quite cool how they can get, yeah. It's so improved, so that is really, really awesome. And that looks really nice. Haha, <laughs> awesome. And then you have this big golem guy. And oh, the details on this one is pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, it's actually quite interesting, like it's, I think there's Shovel Knight by the looks of it, so correct me if I'm wrong, I think this is inspired by Shovel Knight. Yeah. <laughs> okay, next, oh, what do we have in the next train? So that's train number one, and then train number two. So, so wow, you can use one of the mobs from the, um, the game as a hero, so that is pretty nice as well. Yeah, these should look really good painted because all the details of it looks just really, really cool. That's awesome. This one is a bit strange. She looks a bit shorter, like proportional wise, it feels a bit more strange, but I don't know if that's the if that was intentional or a bit of a hiccup, that is really cool. All the scrolls on the back. Yeah, this is awesome. And see, so you have like a little girl there and then you have a really big one, a bit really big character. So that's what I mean by like, it feels a bit strange. Yeah, but again, I'm not too sure. This is, I think there's another monster that you can use as a hero. And he's a bit, <laughs> wow, that mouth. This again looks a bit smaller than the other characters. And something that looks pretty cool as well. And lastly, Skeletor Dude. Of course, you get them as a monster as well. So these are the bosses, the boss versions of it. And you get the little pets one, the little pet sculpts. So instead of using tokens, you get little pets of it. Ah, oh, that is awesome. That is really, really cool. And there's a little, looks like a little bunny. And this one is upside down. That's a pig, a pig crocodile. That's what I think. And another one. And this looks like a little Furby. Little Furby Gremlin. Haha. <laughs> awesome. Alright, so this is what the all the characters that come from it. So next we will open a whole lot of lava. So inside it seems to be just four highly detailed figures, 18 cards, and one scenario book. So it's just a quick scenario. Just for just extra content for you to play the game once you are once you have exhausted the main game. So it comes with a cool little box and the scenario book is quite a small one by the looks of it, but nevertheless it's pretty cool. First, of course, you have all the PvE quests specially made for this scenario. You get 
the cards inside. And lastly, I think what I'll do is I'll just quickly show case the models. So the miniatures in here. Okay, so the miniatures, what we have is we have one of the angels. So that does look pretty cool. We get two of the same sculpt. So we get this little wolf dude. That looks awesome. And then we get one of the bigger ones. So then there's like a golem. This will be really cool painted. And look at that. That's really, really awesome. Yeah, so there's pretty much like a little scenario expansion for Akeda Quest Inferno. Alright, that's pretty much what I have to show for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. And next time we'll be back with all the four dragons. And also I have pets waiting to be unboxed. So thanks again. I'll see you guys soon. Take it easy.